So the quantum stocks have gotten a lot of hate from, especially from the value guys this year, because they've had you know some incredible runs, especially since oh, yeah. uh, Trump got elected last November. Uh, they were all kind of left for dead as sort of these busted SPACs that are now like worth four or five billion. So that you've got the quantum computer names like D-Wave or Rigetti or IonQ. They're actually like trying to build their own quantum computers that are kind of like next generation AI computers. Like they, they can do things that GPU and video chips can't super fast, especially like the most probably the most interesting things from a from a you know a criminal perspective is like hacking into crypto wallets or hacking into RSA level security. You got access to government data or sensitive financial data. So what BTQ is is doing, which is a little different, is they're in a space called post quantum cryptography. They're basically trying to build the uh, the the, the uh, security to protect against a quantum attack. So it's still years away, and that's what the the value guys always get hung up, up on. It's like none of these companies have significant revenue today. And they, they say, oh, you know, how can you value these things or whatever? Yeah. You know, it was like one billion at the beginning of the year, now it's four billion. Well, I mean, I think it does make sense if you if you just start saying like, well, in three or four years, if we have, we, we wake up on one day, one day there's been a quantum attack, how valuable will the companies be that can protect you know all the crypto wallets around the world for yeah. 